Dave Booth with us today. Welcome to you, the championship wrestling. I'm Dave Brown. Lance Russell is taking the day off today. He's on vacation. He will be back with us next week. But joining me today, Ron Olson. Ron, good to be welcome. here, Dave. Yay, all right, great. It's a pleasure to be in, filling in. I've always wanted to do this. We're going to have a good time today. Dave, we got some great action coming up today. All right, who's going to be here? Well, we got uh, Jerry the King Lawler will be here, Big Bubba. Sato, Goto, Rhodes, and Bass, and I think the Sheep Herders are coming back today. Oh, uh, you're right. Jonathan Boyd has a new, I think he's his cousin, a uh, new Sheep Herder is going to be joining him today. First time back around in a long time. He will be here. In addition to that, as you know, we have this super big match, the Battle Royal, 20 men involved, and Ron is holding right here five thousand dollars in cash. Yes, that five thousand dollars in cash will be awarded today to the winner of this battle royal coming up in just a few minutes right here on championship wrestling it's gonna be hot five thousand dollars to the winner that's the big match there are more besides that you stay with us we'll be back and underway with it in just a moment <laughs> match of the day set to go here in the ring you can see him right there Bubba Monroe the brawler son of the legend Sputnik Monroe here comes his opponent right here the one and only King Jerry Lawler one fall ten minute time limit match coming up here Bubba Monroe wrestles out of Alexandria Louisiana weighs in at about uh, 238 pounds Lawler from Memphis, Tennessee, that's the Southern Heavyweight Championship belt. He just handed to the referee, which has been handed out of the ring now for safekeeping. This is a non-title match, by the way, but Lawler does own that belt. Lawler out of Memphis, Tennessee at 234. Lawler wearing a snappy outfit today, Dave. Looks great. He's jumped by Bubba Monroe as the bell sounds. Ooh, Jerry was saying something to the referee. And Bubba Monroe jumped him. Waller off the rope. He's got the shoulders down. The count's at two, three. Got him. Mercy. Ron, it was 22 seconds of action. Let's take a look at it as the King wraps it up. There he is on the middle rope. He comes off of there with the smash. Right Incredible. down. Incredible. Incredible. On Bubba Monroe. Lightning quick. Jerry King the best. He's great. That's hot. Us. Bubba's got a long way to go to get like Dad, I guess. Well, he sure does. I tell you what, he uh, he made Lawler mad is what happened. And, uh, you better be careful when you jump the King, and that's what happened there. 22 seconds the time on it. That one was over so quick. Let's just go on to this next match here. Jerry Garman and Benny Trailer stepping up there right now. This is going to be a handicap match, Ron. I'll bet. And hand here yep. comes the He's handicap here. now. <laughs> Big Bubba. Boy, I tell you, this guy is out of Miami, Florida. He weighs in at 407 pounds. He stands six foot seven. And he is awesome, as you can see. <laughs> Awesome's an understatement. This guy is huge. He is going two against one here. Both. That's about equal. That'll, that'll match up pretty close. And Big Bubba. Well, sounds, and here we go. Uh, also, Big Bubba handed out to uh, run over on the table. You'll notice there are two belts, the International Heavyweight Belt and the Mid-America Belt. He has both of them right now. Garmin and Trailer trying a double drop kick. Did not work. Big Bubba backed up about a half step and just let him fall to the mat. Cool. You don't want to make this guy too mad. Look at that. It's like a brick wall. It's incredible. We have just been amazed at the, at the strength and the size, but especially the strength of Big Bubba since he first walked in here a few weeks ago. Now, one behind, one in front of him. Let's see if that works. Uh-uh. No way. Big Bubba still in control. Oh, wow. These guys are playing for a five-minute time limit right Ooh, now. I tell you what, yeah, you're, you're right. This is a ten-minute time limit match. Big Bubba with a closed line just dropped him in his tracks. Garmin and Trader, a couple of young wrestlers who are real battlers. They've gone against some rugged competition, and they have uh, given a good account of themselves. They're just going against incredible power here in Big Bubba. The chop. Garmin and Trader. 
really not having a, a very good time of it at all from the opening bell. Uh, trailer around behind him. Big Bubba just turns and throws him about halfway across the ring. A lot of power and strength right there, Dave. A lot of power, a lot of power. Look at this trailer trying to pick Big Bubba up. He didn't even move him off his feet. Big Bubba picks him up in the air. Watch the lights, watch the lights. Oh. Yeah, he drops him down on top of his partner. And now Big Bubba just kind of sits down at him, shoulders down on one, kind of two and three. Nine seconds, just under two minutes. Garmin and Trailer both pinned by the awesome Big Bubba. There he goes as he walks out of the ring. Boy, I tell you what, have you ever seen anything like no, it? No, and the crowd's hollering fat, so you don't want to say it too. Ooh, face. no, I wouldn't say big that. Big Bubba, that's all. trouble right there. It's a big man. Big Bubba gets the win. The King got the win in 22 seconds. A minute 59 for Big Bubba's victory. We've got more championship wrestling action, which is going to be coming up right now. I want to uh, see if I can get uh, Eddie Marlin out here. Here's here's Eddie right here. Eddie, come on out. Hello, sir. Listen. You have put together something very interesting. Want to talk about just a little bit and talking about dream matches on a dream card, which is coming up. That's right, Dave. Uh, a few years ago, we put together a dream match card, and the people really enjoyed it. And I did, too. <laughs> yeah, I did, too. It was some outstanding matches, so I went around to each one of the wrestlers that's in this area now, and I asked them if they could name their dream match, would they participate in the other dream matches? So, so that way you get them signed that way, everybody yeah. Everybody went for it, and we signed it. And it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to wrestling in this area. All right. And, and a lot of the guys uh, are going to be involved in it. The, the top wrestlers in several, not just one dream match we're talking about. Now we're talking about several dream matches on the card. It's a bunch of dream matches. And, uh, boy, some of them had some weird dreams. <laughs> yeah, we'll, be, we'll be talking more about that in uh, just a little bit later on. Thanks, Eddie. Congratulations on getting all of it signed. Back with more championship wrestling right here in a moment. championship wrestling coming up thursday november the 13th wrestling action in owensboro kentucky at the davis county high school a super night of wrestling action there on thursday november the 20th wrestling action is coming to mount washington kentucky with the all-star wrestling card and december the 11th that's on a thursday wrestling in fern creek kentucky hey we want to tell you attention all you fans around the area wrestling action coming up wednesday night a dream match card of championship wrestling six dream matches, including Jerry Lawler's dream match, Dirty Rhodes, Sato and Goto, Jerry Jarrett, just a bunch of them. You will also see on that card Wednesday night, the New Zealand Sheep Herders against Billy Travis and Wildfire Tommy Ray. Get out of here. Billy Travis. Travis, you seen what happened to you, and the people are going to see what happened to you, too. I've got one of my other cousins with me now, and he's bigger than bloody Rip, he's tougher than Rip, and he's going to be bloody hurting people. You went and got Tommy Rich as a partner. Well, I'm going to show you what a dream match night is all about, because there's one more match on that card, and it's going to be a bloody nightmare. Do you understand that? It's going to be your nightmare. Travis, because you did a no-no. You put your bloody nose in Sheep Herder's business, and every fan, every fan that's watching in Evansville, and I don't care where it is, you don't do that. See, we're here. We're here to make bloody Yankee dollars, and to do that, we're going to smash Yankee's heads in, and this is what I've got to smash them in with. I've got my ability, and I've got his brawn, and with both of us in the ring at the one time, there's devastation, and devastation means injuries. Injuries mean hospital insurance, and hospital insurance means you're going to bloody hospital, Rich and Travis. Well, a moment ago, we were talking to Eddie Marlin about the dream matches which have been signed. Let's give you a few more details about those dream matches. One of the guys who's going to be participating in one of them is none other than Jerry Jarrett. We have some comments from Jerry, uh, and here's what he has to say about his dream match. Well, Eddie told me what Tojo's dream match was. It was uh, me and him in the ring and a kendo stick up the pole and... Uh, all of his lumberjacks around the ring, the Ninja and Sato and Goto and uh, 
dirty roads, I think. And I think that kind of reflects a lot in the character of Tojo. Tojo, what, what you've told the people is, and makes me kind of proud, It's told them that you don't think you have a chance against me man to man, one on one. And uh, that tells me something about what's in your head and what you think. Makes me feel real good. Eddie's asked me what my dream match is, and, and I guess if there is a, a truly American form of combat, it's either boxing or wrestling. And Tojo's already told the whole world, Eddie Marlin and everybody else, that he won't ever give me a single one-on-one -on -one wrestling match. So the next best thing to that, as far as I'm concerned, Tojo, is a boxing match. Because I think you'll be about as helpless in boxing gloves as a man could be. That'd be my dream match. Just me and you, Tojo, in the ring, and you with boxing gloves on. I'd like to see you chop with them. If I can get that match, I, I'll be real happy. All right, the dream dr uh, match of Jerry Jarrett. Tojo Yamamoto, you were listening to what he had to say there, yes, and the Mark, dream match I has been signed. What, uh, I tell you what, he said that if you win the match, the boxing match, I'll say that, uh, what, American, what, pledge? Pledge of Allegiance, that's I'll right. I'll never say, I don't care. I, would, uh, I die, but I won't say the American Pledge of Allegiance. You understand? Well, but my he... dream match, you know what is my dream match? Well, what is your dream match? My dream match is uh, get the pole up, put the scandal stick on top there, because Jerry, oh, uh, Jerry, uh, Jerry cannot run away. And with the lumberjack, I want uh, Mr. Rhodes, I want Dan Bass, I want uh, Mr. Goto, and I want Akio Sato to be the lumberjack. Hey, that's you want my your own lumberjacks. Dream. That's right. That's my biggest uh, dream match. Well, that's, that's a dream match, and that's what it's all about, the wrestler's dream match. You've heard of Jerry Jarrett's. You've heard Tojo's. Let's go over to Ron Olson and see about Jeff Jarrett's dream match. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. It's ought to be hot. Tell us about the dream match. Okay, Ron. Told you, I want you to listen up real good. Now, they've asked me to dream up my own match, and I've got one. Now, Tojo, I know your boys want them belts real bad, and you got them, but I want them too. So I want you in a title match, and you've been bothering every in our matches every time we're in there. Well, in this match, you're going to be in a cage outside the ring, and you're going to have to watch it. I'm also going to have two referees, and one of the referees is going to be Eddie Marlin. So here, oh, going to be one of the referees. That's right. right. That sounds great to me. Then that will be a dream match. Then that's right. And my partner is going to be somebody who wants them belts just as bad as I do, and he also wants you, Tojo. And the partner is going to be Paul Diamond. Uh oh. All right. That's Jeff. That's Jeff Jarrett. Uh, Sato and Goto, their dream match. He was gone. What happened to him? He's he not going to come back. That, that, his leg is deteriorating. He's dying from the his, cancer. His leg is better. We'll have a word from Paul Diamond later on. You two guys have a separate dream match, separate from Tojo's. Do they, they, they want to have a yeah, comment? Let me tell my dream match. I want to get that goof, that Eddie Martin in ring. Me and Goto, uh, Mr. Tojo, three of us against Eddie Martin and the Jeff Jarrett. Well, you want three, three against two? Yeah. If we pin them, they gotta shave the head. <laughs> loser, loser of the fall gets his head shaved. Is that it? That's that's their dream. Well, that's an interesting, interesting dream match. Ron, let's. Uh, what about Eddie? What does Eddie have to say? Eddie, they're talking about losing hair. That's right. You know, we had to agree to this match. You know, like I told Dave earlier before. But you know, a few years ago, I had to referee a match here uh, in the. There, and I used a tire buddy that the truck drivers use to check the tires. Now, I'll just bring that tire buddy down with me, and if I have to use it, I don't think they'll get their dream match because I don't think they'll be in shape to wrestle. It's going to be hot. It's going to be hot. The dream match, Dave. Shaping up for quite a night. Another, another man who has a dream match is Dirty Rhodes. What, what's your dream match? Well, as you can tell, Davey Brown from Eddie Martin's statements there, the referee in this area is kind of weak. Every time I get that Jerry Lawler at a title match, he's got one of his friends out there, mainly that referee Calhoun, who's his best friend, or he's got his hand in Jerry Lawler's pocket or something, I don't know, but probably a little of both. What I would like to have is I don't want no special stipulations. All I'd just like to have is just a bull rope match with Lawler's title on the line and a special referee who would referee right down the middle. And I know a man just for that job, and, and he's an honest, truthful man, and he's a square referee, brother. His name is Don Bass. Uh -huh. Come down! Hey, you want your tag team partner to be the special honest referee. That's your hey, he's honest, brother. He's honest as the day is long. I can testify to that. Ron, what does the king say about that? J Jerry, what do you think about all that? Well, 
Yeah, as Eddie Marlin said, you know, they came to us and they asked if we would agree to be in somebody else's dream match, if we could get our own stipulation. So it looks like that's what the match is going to be. My Southern title, the bull rope match against Dirty Rhodes with Don Bass refereeing. But I got a, I got a dream match of my own that we're going to have following that. You know, he and Don Bass do have those Southern heavyweight tag team titles right now. And I want a shot at those tag team belts. And we're going to have that. We're going to have a Southern tag team title match. I don't want any disqualification. I don't want any time limit on it. And I want a special partner in this match. I want somebody that's big and somebody that's bad and somebody that can handle these two jerks and just watch my back so that I don't have to worry anything about it. And I want to bring him out here right now. Somebody that I think that they thought they had under their thumb, but I got a very special partner in this tag team match. If I can bring out Big Bubba for just a second here. over there, Dirty Roads. He's going to be right wait, here. Wait, wait, wait. Before, before you get started, Lawler, I want these people to understand here. I want you to put them straight as to why I'm here and what I'm doing here. The fact is that since I've come here, I've become a belt collector. Yeah, that's right. Well, I want you, in your own words, to explain the whole situation and the stipulations. Yeah, I, I, I do want everybody to realize so that you will know, Dirty Roads, that this is strictly a business agreement, and that's the way I like it. We're not going to stand out here and try to tell anybody that we're big buddies or we're big pals. This is strictly a business agreement. He has asked Eddie Marlin for a shot at my Southern Heavyweight title, and I told him that if he would agree to be my partner in this tag title match, that within 30 days, I'll give Big Bubba a shot at the Southern title. And the way he figures it, 30 days from now, he's going to have the Mid-America, the in, uh, International, the Southern Tags, and the Southern Heavyweight Championship. But the way I figure it is, first things first, and right now in this match, we're looking at the Southern Tag Team titles to be around my waist and the waist of Big Bubba. That's my dream match. Woo! Gonna be hot. So ahead of Fat Boy, man, who never had a belt to his life, unless it's for me. He don't even have enough sense to think on his own. Bubba, you better change your mind. That Lawler's up to some cheap tactic. You're right, brother. It's a business, some serious, risky business. Well, that's... It's going to be quite a night. Let me tell you, have heard why, and Eddie was right. Some of the dream matches are a little bit strange, but they're all very, very interesting. It is going to be quite a night. Don't miss it. Don't miss the action we got coming up right here. Uh, Kiyo Sato, Tarzan Goto, Dirty Rhodes, uh, Tojo Yamamoto all headed up to ringside right now. They should be joined by Don Bass to go in an eight-man tag team match. The first of two eight-man tag matches scheduled today on Championship Wrestling. Excitement Incorporated. Rick McCord, John Paul, David Haskins, and Jim Jameson on the other side of the ring. Don Bass, by the way, has joined them in their corner. And as soon as the referee can uh, get sorted out who is going to be starting and remind them that it's supposed to be one at a time in the ring, or one at a time for each team, we Bell time, ready to bell go. time, Davey. Ron, <laughs> that was great. Get ready for an eight-man tag team match. Anytime we have an eight-man match, be ready because they usually end up with lots of people in the ring at the same time. Wow. That is John Paul in here against Big Don Bass. Don weighs in at 302 and he tags his equally heavy partner, Dirty Rose. This is exciting, Dave. I mean, this is a pleasure to be here today. It's a lot of fun. Really exciting. Good to see it up close and personal here today. Indeed. We're glad to have you along. In case you joined us late, Ron Olson is joining us today. Lance Russell is uh, on vacation. He will be back next week. Tarzan Goto. He's the one with a hard head. Against Rick McCord. Rick McCord out of Salem, Virginia. Nice move by Rick. Before go, he puts Godot down to the mat, over to the corner, makes the tag on David Haskins. Dave, I think Dirty Rhodes just said something about my mother. No, uh -oh. <laughs> well, Dirty Rhodes is always making comments to the crowd and to us and all of that. He's a rugged individual. We, uh, we certainly don't take anything away from him as far as his ability and also his ability to bend the rules in his favor. That's Jim Jameson. Oh, Goto caught him. He got him with a foot right in the uh, rib cage. Jameson getting pounded, getting pounded. High in the air, dumped on his back. Boy. 
This dirty road. Show no mercy sometimes. He makes the tag on Big Don Bass. Don Bass out of Arkansas. Dirty Roads out of Austin, Texas. Don Bass obviously an aerobics nut too, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Did he unload on Jim Jamison? He popped him with a right hand that lifted him right off the canvas. You can tell he's off that diet now, too. You're right. I don't think he's been on a diet for a long time. Jamison, next Watch snap. Out. He's down on the floor. Tojo no down here with a kendo stick. Calhoun's got his hands full with this match, I'm telling you. He's got a lot to watch. A lot, a lot to watch. Basketball game has 10 men involved on the court. They have three referees. This match has eight men, and we've only got one. Gives you an idea of some of the responsibility that Jerry Calhoun's are facing right now. Tag made by Akio Sato. Don Bass right there to Neil Jamison. This might be a count of one and two, three. It's over. It. Well, it was just too much power over on that left side of the ring. The team of Akio Sato, Tarzan Goto, Dirty Rhodes, and Don Bass working on Jim Jameson. Jameson had a rough, rough way to go in there. The time on a two minutes, 36 seconds, and they get the victory. We'll be back in just a moment. Wrestling Thursday, November the 13th at the Davis County High School in Owensboro, Kentucky. A big card there. The Jurats will be on that card. Sato, Goto, and Tojo, a super card in Owensboro, Kentucky. Then on Thursday, November the 20th, wrestling in Mount Washington, Kentucky, a super show there of championship wrestling. You will see on that card Jerry Jarrett, Jeff Jarrett, a big lineup of professional wrestling. Then on Thursday, December the 11th, wrestling in Fern Creek, Kentucky. We want to tell you once again, about the great action of championship wrestling Wednesday night at the Evansville Coliseum bell time 8 o'clock we already told you about the dream match card coming up Wednesday night some super action you also see Goliath against Tracy Smothers Billy Travis and Tommy Wildfire Rich will be going after the Sheep Herders then all the great dream matches will take place in this great championship wrestling card Wednesday night in Evansville one of the most rugged tag teams ever, or a couple of the most rugged tag teams ever in the territory, the Sheep Herders with Jonathan Boyd, who has many cousins, and he has another one with him That's here. That's right. Everyone's seen Rip, and everyone's seen Luke, and this is my cousin Bigfoot. He's one of the biggest of the bloody Sheep Herders, and we all know why the Sheep Herders are here, don't we, Yanks? We're here to beat your Yankee bloody brains in. Stomp your faces in. We're not here to kiss your bloody Yankee wrestlers on the lips. We're here to rip their bloody lips off. Do you understand that? Can you hear me yet? You better bloody hear me, because your wrestlers ain't going to be doing a lot of screaming in that ring when we take all of their stinking bloody throats and we choke them down, and they're going to be going, please, please, shit brothers, please don't hurt us. And we are. We're going to hurt you, Yank. We're going to hurt every last one of you. But first of all, we want everybody to learn the sheep of the poem, because I think you must have forgotten it. And it goes like this. You fans have seen the wrestling game's best. Men from all nations with hair on their chest. Some you've admired, and some you've hate. And some are so lousy, they just didn't rate, Yanks, of course. But who's the greatest of all present and past? It's the kids from down under that roll my past. Who are these men? These men are such fans. Well, it's the bloody sheep herders. That's their name. And you know what? Oh, great poetry there. Thanks. Hey, Jerry Lawler, Billy Travis, anybody on that side, anybody who wants to put their name on the dotted line, we'll make dots out of their faces, and we won't use pens to do it, because we'll use this, and we'll use this, and we'll go dot, 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 dot. All right, Jonathan, the Sheep Herder is on their way to the ring right now. They've got a match coming up here with uh, a couple of guys uh, who are going to give them a battle, I guarantee you. One full 10-minute time limit match coming up. Ron 
It's going to be wild. Jonathan Boyd with Bigfoot against Randy and Robert Bryant. One fall, 10-minute time limits. The sheep herders are back. They are back indeed. Jonathan Boyd, as I said, has more cousins than just about anybody I know, and they all appear to be quite big and a little strange looking. This guy, I don't know, Bigfoot he calls him. I remember Rip and uh, a couple of the others. They were something else. And the Australian thing is the same mold. The Australian thing is pretty hot these days with the crocodile Dundee and yeah, that's true. Here we go. Bell time. Here we go. Let's see how they do from the land down under. They're out of New Zealand. Jonathan Boyd and his partner Bigfoot, the sheep herders. The Bryants, meanwhile, out of Bartlett, Tennessee. Randy and Robert. Jonathan Boyd with a headbutt. It's been a while since Jonathan's been in Memphis. In yes, town. Has been a while. He's been around the territory. But it has been several months. Uh, Jonathan Boyd over in the corner. Ooh, Bigfoot with a big clothesline. He puts Robert Bryant down on the mat. He's going up off the middle rope. Jonathan Boyd over in the corner calling for a tag and he gets it. And Boyd comes in, Bigfoot holding him up. Robert Bryant. Hit with a right fist a couple of times. Boyd threatening the referee. Watch out. guy is vicious, Ron. He, uh, <laughs> he always has been, and uh, he certainly has not improved his disposition in his absence over the last few months. One mean, ugly man. I'm he telling you right indeed. now. One mean, ugly man. Over close to the Bryant's corner, a tag is made, and Randy Bryant will be coming in. Boy, not wanting to break the hold on Robert Bryant. He's not the legal man in there now. Finally, referee gets uh, the hold broken, and Randy waves into the battle. I'm not sure that was a wise move. Boy, very, very unpredictable, too. Unpredictable. Headbutt. Yes. He's to the corner, and here's Bigfoot coming in. The stand of USA. Aimed at the New Zealand team of Boyd and uh, Bigfoot. It's your first real look at Bigfoot today. He's much taller than Boyd. Both weigh, uh, I think Boyd will weigh a little bit more than he does, though. Both got big guys. Boyd standing right on the guy's chest, holds him down, count as two, and three. And the Sheep Herders have third notice they are back. Jonathan Boyd still working on Randy Bryant. After the bell sounds, Boyd continues to punish him. Right, the other one jumps in there. As Jerry Calhoun loses the control in there again. Well, the Sheep Herders with that weird chant they've got. They have won the match. Two minutes, 24 seconds. The time on it. Jonathan Boyd and Bigfoot. Sheep Herders back in the territory. We'll be back here in just a moment. It's time for the match we've been waiting for all week. $5,000 on the line. $5,000 in cash goes to the winner of a 20-man battle royal, which is going to occur just seconds from now in this ring right here. We're going to try to catch some of the folks on their way to the ring, talk to them about it. $5,000 in cash on the line. I can't recall there ever being a prize that big for a match on uh, championship wrestling on television. Uh, in the many, many years that I've been around here. Here's Ron. Right, uh, Ron. Thank you. $5,000 on the line. What do you think? That's a lot of money. We're going to be fighting hard for it. We're going to watch each other's back, too. All right, let's go for it. You're going to have 20 men in the ring. Give him my best. Let's so, go for it. Hit it. Hit it. Come on in. Come on in. $5,000 at stake. Yeah, I'm going for that five grand. I'm fired up. Let's do it. Jerry, here he comes. Jerry to King Lawler. Ron, can always use five grand, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, let's do it. All right, all right. Welcome hey, back. Good right. to see you. You're ready to go. It's great to be back in this area. I love Memphis, Tennessee. I love everybody here. And I'm going to start off by winning this battle royal. Go for it. 20-man battle royal. It's going to be crazy. Here they go. I've never seen anything like this in wrestling. All right, Ron, they're all getting up to the ring right now. Here comes Don. Bass and Dirty Roads. What do you guys got on your mind here? Maybe you want me and Dice going to do this five thousand dollars right here in just a minute. We're going to invite all of our rowdy friends over for a party tonight. 
<laughs> All right. Everybody's thinking of the $5,000. Jonathan Boyd and Bigfoot back in here. Everybody knows what professional wrestling's about. It's about money. It's about being the best. And now you're going to see the best. You're going to see the cheapest. Beat every bloody yank in there. Uh, we'll see 20 men in the ring right now. It is a ring full, let me tell you. Referee Jerry Calhoun there in the middle. Bell sounds and let's go. The last man in that ring wins $5,000. In we'll try to keep up with them, Ron, as they are eliminated from the ring. It won't be easy to do. In the way it works, over the top of the rope or a pin, right? thrown out of there and you are out you can't come back crowd going crazy i don't believe i've ever seen anything like this before it's been a long time since we've had a 20-man battle royal we have uh, i think perhaps we've had uh, had it before i remember 15 and 18 or 16 and 18 man battle royals but the 20 men in this ring I is see, just uh, an incredible sight lawler and dirty rubs going at it jonathan boyd getting on he can stand for mr travis right now but uh, the ninja is in there, Pat Tanaka. There's Lawler. Look Lawler out. Lawler up on the ropes, about to be eliminated. Dirty rope trying to get him over that rope. So far, he hasn't done it. Lawler very close to elimination, very close to being the first man eliminated in this 20-man battle royal. Lawler hanging on for dear life. Nobody out yet. Nobody out yet. Oh, Lawler. He got him with the boot on the top of the head. I thought the king was going to be gone early there for just a moment. Pat Tanaka and the ninja going at it. Jonathan Boyd and Lawler squaring off. Remember, too, that this is not uh, necessarily friends with friends. This is every man for himself. There's only going to be one winner. Big Bubba running all around the ring here, looking for somebody to throw out of there. Uh-oh. Dirty Rose is out. Is out. He out. was not thrown out either. There comes Don Bass thrown out by Big Bubba. Dirty Rope jumped out of there when Big Bubba was after him. Big Bubba chasing both of them. And Big Bubba, I think, has just eliminated himself, too, when he came out of the ring after him. So the first three gone, Rhodes, Bass, and Big Bubba. All right. All of those are gone. The referee confirms that uh, Big Bubba is out of here. Even though he's out of the ring Big working overtime. The Ninja, another one out. That's Rick McCord just thrown over the rope by Jonathan Boyd. So Rick McCord is out of it. Billy Travis. Travis back in the territory. He's been away for a while. We're glad to have him back. Jonathan Boyd locked up. He's back. New Zealand Flash. This is wild. 20 men battle royal. $5,000 cash to the winner. I see Akio Sato out on the uh, apron over there. I believe he has been eliminated. Referee is over there. Jeff Jarrett uh, has him out of the ring. Sato, yeah, he's gone. He's out of there. Oh, Jeff the Jarrett. Ninja. Jeff Jarrett getting worked overtime on the, uh, the pole over there in a bad position right now. Yeah, Sato has just jumped back in the ring. Duke Myers has been eliminated. Duke Myers of the Animals. And also, someone else was just thrown out down here. That was uh, David Haskins, who has uh, been eliminated. Haskins out. Uh, Sato had been eliminated officially, but he wandered back in there. I think the referee did not see that he was out of the ring. So. Jeff Jarrett hanging tough in there right now, Dave. Lawler still with us. Jarrett is going back after Akio Sato. The ninja goes over the top rope. Ninja's out. John Paul flipped him over the rope, so he's gone. We're down to about two, four, six, eight, ten. About 11 guys left in the ring. So about half the participants have come flying out of there. Ben Franklin, Abe Lincoln, all the guys waiting over here for a winner. $5,000 worth. Jeff Jarrett and Akio Sato both eliminated. They were battling each other. They're both out of there. There goes John Paul and Tracy uh -oh. Sutters. They're uh -oh. both eliminated. Jarrett's Sato out. after Jeff Jarrett with a chair. Jeff Jarrett eliminated, but he grabbed Sergeant Goto and helped. He helped uh, Jerry Lawler get Goto out. Now Goto going after Jarrett down on Goto the floor. They're Jarrett. both eliminated, though. There's some bad blood there. Mike McGurk, the other animal, has been eliminated. Uh-oh. 
Pat Rose and Pat Tanaka both eliminated. They're down on the floor. Jonathan Boyd, Jerry Lawler. Bigfoot. Bigfoot and Billy Travis, the four men left in the ring. One of them is going to win $5,000. That'll put some stakes on the table. And some more steroids in the body, I bet. Jonathan Boyd up on the ropes right there. The King trying to get him over those ropes. Bigfoot. He doesn't do it. Bigfoot and Boyd, Travis and Lawler. Lawler's hurt. He's hurting. Oh, there goes Travis oh, over the top rope. And Jonathan Boyd and Bigfoot, the sheep herders, two against one on the King. From 20 down oh, to three. Oh, oh, oh. Into the referee. 20 down to three. Calhoun's in trouble. Calhoun is in trouble. He's got both the sheep herders in there against him. Travis back. Billy Travis from outside. Billy's been eliminated, but he's holding the sheep herders up. Calhoun might have a shot at the money the way this thing's going right now. Look at oh, this. This is going to turn over. The King, the last man in the ring. In the ring. The King gets the $5,000. Five minutes, 38 seconds, and Jerry, the King, Waller, $5,000. Watch out, here comes Floyd. Look out. Look out. Now look. Hey, Lola, you know we won that. And that's for you. Uh-oh. Come on. Watch out. Travis going crazy. Dirty Rhodes are double teaming Lawler. It's going to be wild. Jonathan Boyd. Bigfoot into the pole. Dirty Rhodes. Lawler picked up the 5,000. He's in trouble right now. Lawler's Somebody right watch the, the money. Watch the money. Watch the money. Watch the money. Dirty Rhodes has got the money. Come on. Need to get a security guard out here. Dirty Rhodes has picked up the cash, has picked up Lawler's money, the money that Lawler just won in the Battle Dirty Royal Boyd. here. And now, look at, look at this. Dirty Rhodes, Rhodes and the sheep are dividing up the money. <laughs> Referee is trying to tell him they got to give it back. We're, all right, they're, they're on it. Look, we're going to have to get this uh, get this straightened out. Jerry, they took all the money. We'll get it straightened out. Let's take a break. We'll be back here in just a minute. Billy Travis cut open in the ring. Big championship wrestling coming up on Thursday, November the 13th, Owensboro, Kentucky, at the Davis County High School. Hope to see you there. Hey, we want everybody to come out to the Evansville Coliseum Wednesday night. Eight big matches. You will see Goliath in his debut in Evansville against Pat Tanaka. The Sheep Herders will be in action against Billy Travis and Wildfire, Tommy Rich, and also you will see sensational six dream matches right there in Evansville, including the return of Paul Diamond. We had a few words with Paul. I want to listen to that right now. I've waited six long weeks for this Tojo Sato and Goto, and finally it's come down. This is the night I've been waiting for. Six long weeks I've waited and waited and thought what I'm going to do when I get back in that ring with you. I got a great partner in Jeff Jarrett, and the revenge is on my mind. And the only thing I think about is what happened six weeks ago when you busted my leg. Well, this time, brother, you are going down, and I'm going to break your leg just like you did mine. All right, it'll be great to see Paul Diamond back in action. Want to bring in Billy Travis. Billy, Tommy Wildfire Rich, your partner, and you need a good one. You have one to go against the Wild and Woolly Sheep Herder. That's right, Randy. First of all, I'd like to say hello to everybody right there in Evansville. You know, Sheep Herders. When it was two on one, you guys did a number on me. But I went out, and I got me one of the best partners in the country today. And the people know who that is, and they know what he can do. Tommy Wildfire Rich. Sheep herders, I want you to show up in Evansville. I want to see how tough you are. When the, and it's even two on two. We're just going to see how tough you are. And I'll tell you what, Boyd, I hate your stinking guts. And in Evansville, that's it. All right, Billy, good luck to you in the action coming up at the Evansville Coliseum. Once again, let me remind you. It's eight big matches. It's dream match night. Absolutely great. Looking forward to seeing you there Wednesday night in Evansville.
ready to go with an expiration of time match coming up here. Eight-man tag team action again. Boy, what a day this has been. Not only we had a 20-man battle royal with $5,000 to the winner, we have our second eight-man match of the day right here. Here it comes. Yeah, the Memphis Vice, Big Lou Winston and Jerry Bryant. Their partners today, the Animals. Let's see what the message boards say on the back. The, uh, the T-shirts. 100% tough is what Brian says. And a perfect 10. And a perfect 10. And let's see. I don't know what uh, I don't know what Lou Winston uh, says the back of his shirt. Let's see. Well, he's, he's certainly not going to let us see. Let's get uh, referee Jerry Calhoun. Yeah, let's see what it says. Tough, tough enough. enough. All right, 100% yes, tough and tough enough is what they I say today. It. Their partners, Duke Myers and Mike McGurk, the Animals. They're out of Portland, Oregon. Memphis Vice out of Memphis, Tennessee. Across the way, Pat Tanaka, Tracy Smothers, uh, Jeff Jarrett, and Billy Travis. Boy, this should be a good one coming up here. A lot of weight in the ring today, a lot of weight in the ring. You're right. We've got uh, almost a ton in there, 996 pounds on one side of the ring. On the other, 858 pounds. A lot of weight. Most of the weight, i got to tell you, is over here. On the side of the ring with the Animals and the Memphis Vice. The Animals, Duke Myers and Mike McGurk, both of them heavyweights. Jeff Jarrett starting against Jerry Bryant. Jerry Bryant claims to be a perfect 10. This looks like a dream match right now. Yeah, it is. Well, I tell you, all kind of actions you can have in an eight-man tag match. Jerry Bryant, boy, some of the confidence shaken there. He heads for the corner and makes the tag on Thunderfoot. It says across the back of his tights, Big Lou Winston. Lou Winston, better known as Thunderfoot or Mr. Thunderful. He's out there hot today. Memphis Vice, looking good. Jeff Jarrett over the corner makes a tag on Tracy Smothers. Tracy, Jeff, double up on him and put Lou Winston to the mat. There's a cover by Tracy. Count of one is all he can get before Lou Winston's able to break off of it. Yeah, he's up complaining. Ron Lou is one of the great complainers in uh, in the world of wrestling. He'll complain about anything. Tracy Smothers bars his left arm. Tracy's going to give him something to complain about here in a second, I can tell. Oh, look at Tracy leap over. He sets and got him with the upper arm. Good move, Tracy Smothers. Very agile, very agile. Mike McGurk coming in now, one of the animals out of Portland, Oregon. From the Pacific Northwest, Mike McGurk and Duke Myers. Hope these animals, I hate to see them on my front porch coming by to ask my little girl out for a day. <laughs> these guys are vicious looking. They are. I have a fear of that happening someday. Yeah, you don't want these guys there. Pat Tanaka. Battling Mike McGurk. They've got Travis all bandaged up over there. He had quite a, uh, quite a blow in that 20-man uh, battle royal. Yeah, boy, Billy was cut open in the aftermath of that one. Uh, he uh, apparently is doing okay. He's got it, got it bandaged up. He has not officially been in the match yet. We'll, uh, we'll see how he can go if uh, he has to take the tag. Uh-oh. Watch out. Tanaka, a bit upset by one of the tactics here of Mike McGurk, the animal. Tanaka originates from Hawaii, I understand. Mm -hmm. He is a fine Hawaiian wrestler. Schooled in the martial arts, several of them. Sidekick. Oh, look at that. He puts the big animal down to the mat. Winston working the crowd, as always. I love it. We're about three minutes into the action here. Remember, it's an expiration of time match. Might be one fall, might be two or three. As long as we have time, we'll try to have some wrestling action for you here. First fall win, though, very important in an expiration of time match. If you get that first fall under your belt, then you are in very good shape, no matter how many falls follow. That's Big Duke Myers with Tanaka. Forearm by Lou Winston. Winston trying to pick Tanaka up. He does. He snaps him over. Covers. He can't hold him for a count, though. Not enough. Not enough. Winston tagging Jerry Bryant. Hey, 
Tanaka needs a tag. He needs to get over to the corner and make a tag. He's working overtime. He's still got, the, he's still got what it takes, though. Back kick worked. Now he gets the tag, and it's going to be Tracy Smothers. Tracy, he's the biggest of uh, the guys in that corner over there, the tallest, and has the most weight on him. He makes a tag on Billy Travis. Puts Brian to the mat. The count's at two. Lou Winston breaks it up at the count of two. Dave, I can, I can feel that one over here. Yeah, that I thought hurt. Travis that had hurt. him there. And he would have had not Lou Winston interfered. Travis Body with slam, cover again. might work. Now this time Duke Myers interferes. Four and a half minutes gone. Billy Travis making the tag on Jeff Jarrett. Brian looks like a perfect six right now. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Jeff Jarrett's really coming on strong these days. Jeff Jarrett is, uh, has developed about as quickly as any wrestler I can ever remember. Fine natural athletic ability. Of course, that wrestling history, the family history, learning from uh, one of the masters doesn't hurt. We have just passed five minutes of this match. Oh. Time beginning, uh, well, time is beginning to be a minor factor. We still got plenty of time left, though. There's a tag made by Pat Tanaka. Tracy Smothers coming in. They're going to go to the expiration of time on this one, too. Bryant wades into the corner, brings Tracy Smothers out of there. Drops it down to the mat. There's a tag made on Big Duke Myers. Duke Myers. Hey, Dave, I really enjoy sitting this close in here today. In for Lance Russell today. This is great. You got to see wrestling. And when it comes to your town, you got to go out and see it live. It's great on TV, but it's nothing like sitting right here. And uh, the electricity. It is. Place. It's hot. Right. It's hot. I love it. Lance getting in a little fisher today, I think. He's good. He will be back next week. This is a dream match for me today. I love this. This is great. That's Big Mike McGurk, the animal. Jeff Jarrett moving him around the ring. McGurk, good move. He steps outside the rope. That'll break the hole that Jeff Jarrett had on it. And buy him a big razor when we get through with this thing. That's one hairy man right there. Covered with hair. It's like the werewolf out there. Jeff Jarrett with that left arm up in a hammer position behind Mike McGurk's back. Jeff makes the tag. Billy Travis coming in. We had worried about what kind of shape Billy would be in to go, but tell you what, he looked good his first appearance in the match. Here he comes off the middle rope on the upper arm of Mike McGurk. Twists up on it. Oh, look out. Oh, the upper arm by the big animal. Puts Billy Travis down to the mat. Travis being stretched to the limit right now. He's in trouble in this corner. Who went there? Boy, Travis just nailed him and turned and calmly walked to the corner and tagged Jeff Jarrett. Yeah, big Duke Myers with repeated headbutt. Hey, Jarrett moves out of the way. Duke Myers slams Jerry Bryant. Comes in and says, what are you doing? It is hard enough to win a match with all the team members going together. And now Bryant and Duke Myers getting into it. That is it goes. Count of two, three. That's it. That's it. That's it. Now Memphis Vice get an assist on that one. Duke Myers nailed Jerry Bryant. Bryant really got upset about it. They went in and started shoving Duke Myers. Jeff Jarrett was down on his hands and knees and Bryant pushed Myers over. Jarrett was right there with his shoulders down, got the three count, and now the animals are hot, let me tell you. That's animals the left ball. holding the bag. They left holding the bag, looking awful foolish up there now. Seven minutes, 50 seconds of time. Take a look at it as we go to a break. We'll be back with more of Championship Wrestling. Wow, some kind of action, boy. It was hot. 
Uh, I'll tell you what, today we had the uh, the 20-man battle royal, two eight-man tag team matches. It was something else. The beginning of it, Jerry Lawler going in here against uh, Bubba Monroe, and uh, Lawler didn't take much time. Record time, 22 seconds was the finish on that. 22 seconds as he beat him. Then it was Jerry Garman, Benny Trader, handicap match against Big Bubba. Excedrin headache number 12. For Garmin and oh, Trader. No kidding. Yeah. Big He's Bubba. huge. Big Bubba takes a measure of him in a minute 59. Sato, Goto, Dirty Rhodes, and Don Bass. First of two eight-man tag team matches. In this one, they won it. They defeated Excitement Incorporated, Rick McCord and John Paul, and David Haskins and Jim Jameson. Jim Jameson really took quite a beating in that one. It went two minutes, 36 seconds. Sheep herders are back. No kidding. With Bigfoot this time. Bigfoot with Jonathan Boyd. It, Bigfoot, it looks just as mean as the other guys, Morgan and the other others that uh, Boyd has been around with uh, wrestling as sheep herders and uh, they defeated Randy and Robert Bryant in uh, no small measure today two minutes 24 seconds the time the 20 man battle royal you had the five thousand dollars right here at the table the winner was Jerry Lawler, but Dirty Rhodes was the uh, purse snatcher this time. Yeah, the, run, the, the money, money here off. with all the action going on, and Dirty Rhodes grabs the five thousand dollars and he splits it up with the sheep herders, and they got out of here. Eddie Marlin says he will get that straightened and out. Sure, by the way, sure Jerry will have something to say uh, about that. Sure too. he will too. Lawler, the official winner though of the twenty-man battle royal.